with the biggest admission from a top former official of Pakistan, ex-Pakistan NSA, Mahmood Ali Durrani, who says the 2611 Mumbai attack was carried out by a terror group based in Pakistan and is a classic trans-border terrorist event. The terrorist attack in Mumbai, Mumbai carried out by a terrorist group based in Pakistan on 26th November 2008 is a classic trans-border terrorist event. I hate to admit this, but this is true. Let's listen in now to how Durrani immediately gave a clarification on his speech. India's position is very well known. There's nothing new revelation for us. India's position is very well known. There's nothing new revelation for us. I think it's a welcome statement, the very fact that Pakistan has recognized that it was really uh, cross-border terrorism. I, I think it corresponds to, if you remember, what Mr. Chidambaram had said just after, uh, you know, the Bombay attack when he took over as Home Minister. It reiterates Indian government stand. Uh, finally, somebody in Pakistan is admitting to what it was. And if, uh, if, if this is something which the Pakistan government accepts, then it will go a long way in establishing peace between the two nations. I would also now say that Hafiz Said should be sent to India for prosecution because once you've agreed that his hand is there, now then nothing remains but in uh, him being sent to India for being prosecuted here. Mr. Durrani's statement clearly shows and also proves that a criminal conspiracy for the terror attack of 26 November was hatched on the soil of the Pakistan. When Mr. Durrani, the former national security of the Pakistan, makes such an admission, that also clearly shows that Pakistan government was knowing and having the entire evidence of the said criminal conspiracy. My now moot question is, why there is such a delay in prosecuting the perpetrators of terror attack on 26 November since the trial is pending since 2008? Well, they're not changing their strategy. The ISI is changing their strategy. Let's always remember who is behind them. They're not autonomous actors. They are proxies of the state. The ISI is behind everything that they do. We cannot forget that important fact. If he is saying this, there can be no further uh, proof required. I'm sure he would have been in the know of what was happening at that time, though it has taken him uh, uh, several years to really come out with this statement. But we will see what Pakistan does. We cannot go by what Pakistan says. Pakistan should uh, take some credible action against terror, against terror groups which are operating from Pakistan itself. And the civilian government, uh, what authority it has, we do not know. But the Pakistan government should uh, demonstrate its commitment in the fight against terrorism by taking some credible action against terror and terror groups. Now, Protus,